all right folks so what is going on today we're going to be doing a ban list uh slash project i mean discussion slash prediction um yeah we're, go we're going to be doing that um not really too much of a prediction but there's only a couple of cards that i feel like should get hit and um yeah i mean like i said in my previous one semi limits and unlimited don't really matter that much because konami just does what they want they don't really stick to a, a strict thing um like as with banned and limited you can kind of tell what cards are going to be banned and limited last um last balance prediction everybody said i was wrong for banning iris magician and um yeah they banned it so well, one up to me but <laughs> anyway no <laughs> anyways uh yeah uh, like i said band limits really the only thing that really matters and really changes the game semi limits unlimited really don't so we're gonna you know touch up on those but you know don't take those serious it's just stuff that could come off the list so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe if you do enjoy this video um and even if you didn't enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe because you might enjoy another one um, also, if you guys want to help the channel out, you guys can click and add or hit one of those links in the description and donate to the channel. We'd be very appreciative and it help out very much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And the number one card, I think, on everybody's band list, and I think everybody can agree with this, is Elemental Straddles. Because why is it still banned? That's just, you know what we need to do? We probably need to do a community effort to send as much emails to Konami to unban Straddles as humanly possible. Because it's too, it's too long now. God damn, Stratos didn't do that much. What the hell did he do? What the hell did this man do to be in prison this damn long? Take him out. Pardon this man. Jesus Christ. Who do we got to get on this? This man needs to be released. He's nothing, but he's a good man. We've got, and we getting hero support. This is the perfect time to do it. Let it go, Konami. Let it go. I don't know what the hell Stratos did. I don't. Somebody must have pissed off somebody in the uh, Konami office because the Stratos is, is still on the list for no apparent reason. Yeah. So now that we got that out of the way, let's continue on with the list. I think Shrit may be coming off the list because the Devi rituals did come out, and there's a lot of ritual support coming out. So why not boost a, the best ritual deck of all time? um necros uh I, I feel like they should get shirt back sure it's a very powerful card uh, and i know a lot of people won't like shirt back because that means just one card trishulas but hey i i'm not i'm not tripping uh we can you can run this in uh what's the name you can run this in uh ritual i mean vendrets helpful with me but i'm just playing but uh, yeah Shrit, i think Shrit should come off the list it's been on the list for a minute um Necros really aren't doing anything, and with the Devi Rituals, that's to, that's to see a boost. So you know, take it off the list, give them something to play with. Another card that um, I feel like probably should be banned um, is Drone Lockbird, or or limited first and then banned. But Drone Lockbird should should most likely be uh, the next candidate to be banned or limited because it's it's just really oppressive. It's it's not really too hard to droll somebody. The fact that you can droll on anything is it's kind of ridiculous. The fact that if your opponent up starts, I mean, if your opponent draws a card, draw two cards, draw three cards, you can draw. If your opponent adds a card to his hand, um, you can draw. Like it's 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 really oppressive, and it reminds me of Maxi. But a lot of people want Maxi back in the format, and I just don't understand why. Like, do you guys not remember how Maxi was? Like, and there's way easier. Like, you, you guys realize that we have a, a, a shitload of ways to search math uh, easily to get to a Maxi. That you can just play in any deck just think about it summon sorceress can target this goblin that's a fiend and get out a damn sagging to search maxi and you literally cannot win next turn there's no way you can beat this man because i'm already going off I have a firewall <laughs> i just searched with sagging you guys do you guys understand that I, I mean hopefully you guys do understand shit like that exists and if maxi comes back you gotta you know you're gonna expect that um I, I just that's not the main reason but the, the main reason I, I i don't like maxi is because uh well no the, that that was kind of the main reason the fact that it literally it, it, there's no way to win against maxi the only way you can win against the maxi is if you either stop it or you just otk through it but what how decks are acting now and how the link format is you have to break a u-lock you have to get over a tri-gate and you have to fight through a couple of hand traps then just to get max seed on your on your first attempt to special summon and then try to fight through all that nah bro i i, I don't know why anybody wants to play with that and you max seeing me on my first turn yeah that that's cool that's oppressive though like why do why do i want to play a format 
where you know you can activate one card and i literally have to stop playing Yu Gi Oh. i don't think konami likes that so I, I i don't know why you guys like it i mean you guys let me know why you like maxi i, I just don't get it it reminds me of drone lockbird these two cards right here they, they don't require nothing like effect barely requires an, a monster ghost Stoker requires something to be activated ghost bell you, your opponent needs more monsters than you not ghost bell but winter cherry your opponent needs more monsters than you. ghost bell it needs to specifically target a certain thing ash blossom um it needs to react to something drone lockbird is literally on 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 drawing or adding to the deck that's something that is in every deck it literally every deck draws or adds at some point in their deck that's not good maxi doesn't even need to respond to anything you can just activate maxi and it's just bam i don't know why you guys want this and it may it's not all you but I've seen a lot of people say maxi should go to three no that is just not fun it's not fun Yu -Gi -Oh. I, I mean i don't know if you guys remember but this shit was not fun um so that's another reason why i think drone lockbird should be banned they're just it's an oppressive card it reminds me of maxi and when maxi was at three it just was not fun it's literally uh you go first you get maxi you draft in the turn and how decks are built nowadays you need to special summon so you're gonna give me five cards to start my you're gonna i'm gonna start my turn with 11 cards okay all right um, another card that can come off the list possibly go to three of destiny hero disc commander because it recently got errated um, I'm pretty sure the erratic came out. So I believe that card should just come back I mean, it's not gonna really do anything uh, You might see a splash in a couple of decks, but not really that much a lot of people don't play call of hunt and stuff like that. So Yeah, um, and it's once per duel so you can't abuse it uh, heavy storm giant true nade and cold wave um yeah I, I hit you with it just i hit you with it that fast um these cards should come back um not really too many spells and traps being set or you know anything like that come back giant trune most likely won't come back because the the new localized trune or hey trune whatever it's called um but it can but it kind of be pointless to release that card and then cold wave a, a, a favorite of mine i like this card this is this is fantastic it may not be too good but i just think it, it, it we should just try it man we should get one band card at least every what's the name just one fun ridiculous card cold wave nowadays would be crazy but kind of good so if i cold wave you you free to use all your hand traps but i can't call by the grave you you know what i mean if you don't have any hand traps and I, I really feel sorry for you um and i believe yeah construct and uh yeah construct uh we're gonna gonna get to the next ones later you guys are gonna um probably get a little upset but uh construct just come on man it's, it's, it's getting to the straddles point it's not near straddles but it's getting to that point should all need i mean that's the only thing that makes it all is good throw another deck back in the meta um construct that one i, I believe it got a rather but i can't tell the difference from right here you guys let me know um yeah bring construct back um shock master relax 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 um shock master probably can come back there's not really too many decks focused on special summoning level fours even though i know you can do it there's not really too many decks uh focused on special summoning uh three level fours and go into a shock master and to be honest with you um shock master is very very it's a very good card um but it needs to be backed up by other things and um if you guys can point me to a deck that spans level fours and does more than just Shockmaster, then okay. Because Gokis have one level four. Um, I, I don't know what else you can really throw in there. Uh, the Zodiacs, they can come back. Um, let's just see what they do. Um, I think it's the, I think it's been enough enough time for them to come back. Um, the extra deck thing. Uh, I mean, the uh, the Master of Four really hurt the super potential of the deck. So. Go ahead and bring it back let's see what it does no reason to still be on the list soul charge is another card that can definitely just go to zero because my god um this card is really powerful even though it's really balanced it's a very balanced card um it's 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 sometimes it's just a little crazy so soul charge can maybe um come off the list and the number one card i'm pretty sure everybody has on their ban list that should get banned absolutely is firewall dragon I know it does unlock excellent zombies potential and we can do all this fun stuff, but it is not It's not healthy. They need to either out of this card or get rid of it because It's it's I mean like I said it, it boosts the potential of my own deck that I'm playing in real life But I know a broken card when I see a broken card firewall is broken um, It's time to go 
I don't know what else to say. Um, it's probably not gonna go, but this is a card that needs to go. Um, a lot, and some other people were talking about hitting Goblin. I don't, I don't understand that. If Seraph Knight survived that long, Goblin bed not get hit after what two, 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 what six months? Come on, don't, don't do that to Goblin. Like Goblin just got here. Let Goblin do what he does. I mean, this is good. A generic double summon for every deck. That's pretty cool. Um, Seraph Knight was the same thing, but even better because you get a, you get two monsters. So. And that literally, you, you can summon that card anywhere. This one, it has to point to Goblin. So if you Ghost Ogre this or, you know, do something to it, it's different. If, now, if you do something before Seraph Knight, then okay. But you can't Ghost Ogre a Seraph Knight. Can't do half the shit you can do with a Goblin to a Seraph Knight. And also, it doesn't give you a free light in the graveyard. So, yeah, man. I mean, that's not really a good example or a good... Um, reason why goblin shouldn't be banned but I, I just don't think it does now a card that i could see getting banned is mermaid mermaid unlocks all the potential of the deck really because the fact that you can use any nightmare card to go into this um really um <clears throat> really makes the deck pop that's what gets the firewall going um this could be a sneaky hit by konami i don't think goblin should get hit mermaid getting hit would really would really check that extra that firewall spam shit uh, and it would it would do it very very well um but like i said there is definitely gonna be people who get around it but you know like i said if you have to play different cards you have to change your deck then that's the point of a ban list to make uh, an easy combo not accessible so i could see mermaid getting hit that would be that would be left field but i can see that also trigate wizard huh i don't think this is gonna happen but if it comes down to firewall to trigate getting banned i think trigate is going to get banned because <clears throat> there's a lot of things going in firewall's way the fact that it's a powerful link monster and you basically konami is trying to promote links and it's the ace card it's the you know dude's ace card i mean that I, I i just I, I don't know man uh i feel like they would ban fire i mean not firewall but wizard because the fact that it can give you a free negation and points you know that it's just it's a pretty good card and it, it's just an extra negation on top of everything so possibly this like i said um i wouldn't i would be very surprised if they hit one of these not, not this card but i would be surprised if they hit any nightmare cards because i don't feel like these are the problem firewall is the fucking problem but they like to hit around firewall so what can make firewall less potent um goblin getting hit definitely would make the deck i mean make gokis pretty much i don't know if they can still do their combo but it is very hard to do the combo without um what's the name without goblin with that extra normal summon and without mermaid i don't think it's possible to do the i'm pretty sure it is but the fact that you have to go like it, it, it it's going to take some time um at least until we get the new cybers or whatever the case may be and then that when they require link monsters to be link summoned then we go that route and then also try gate wizard it would be just one of the, one of the casualties because of firewall um that can maybe happen hmm. I, I don't know i think that any of these threes are very viable to get hit i don't believe they're going to hit firewall but they should um <clears throat> dark arm dragon should go to two let's see what is going on let's just see let's just see let's just see my boy or um Morpha joes are coming out i think next set wave keepers are getting the boost throw a dark arm in that motherfucker you know let's, let's play with some dark arms dark hole possibly maybe going to three or two nobody plays it well never mind only if you know, everybody plays it against me um but <clears throat> you don't really see it too many times in the meta uh darko may get bumped up uh royal tribute may get bumped up because of the necro uh, the gravekeeper support maybe something easily um to help them out and definitely get a lot of people interested in the deck if you put this card back to three um a lot of people are going to be mad but a lot of gravekeeper players are going to be happy I can tell you that um yeah um also another thing that loops with straddles book of moon put the shit to three let us have fun all right book of moon is a very great card it's the best neck one of your life it helps out i mean it doesn't hurt links so what, what's the what's to get down what's to get down man give, give it to us let us play some good fun Yu Gi Oh with book of moon man book of moon is just a very good card and it needs to be a you know a three or two something Gateway of the Six did not do anything, so I suspect this should go up. Solemn Judgment, same thing, and it also got a ratted. So maybe it might see a boost, but you got to remember Solemn Judgment being at three would, it, would immediately go in everybody's deck. Maybe even at two, 
immediately go in everybody's deck don't forget this is a very powerful card and if firewall gets banned or trigate or something that stops this firewall loop you're going to need some backup and what's better than solemn judgment when you already don't care about your life points solemn warning once again all, i think all the solemn cards have rarely been used isn't that crazy like this card is so fucking good and nobody's playing it that's that's weird you guys does anybody still even know what warning does like this card is really fucking good for 2000 life points you can stop your opponent's whole turn that, 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 that's that's pretty good um towers same thing as you know gateway and stuff nobody it didn't do anything M it's most likely going to three luster i could see it going to three probably not because they're scared of pendulums pendulums are still very viable um luster going to three may be that uh thing that they need to get there um possibly and then uh burial i mean just put it to three let us have some fun um it also ring of destruction that probably is going to go to three like i said nobody's playing these cards he might as well just put him to three um and yeah that's pretty much all i can think about right now um the really thing uh the the, the only thing i like i said to take away from this format is the u-lock stuff and that all revolves around firewall so if they don't hit firewall they're going to hit pieces around it um Isolde, no is not just no stop reset like they just got support in noble Knight. they're not going to ban his old they're not going to limit his old um they're not going to do anything to his old um <clears throat> so if that's what you're thinking um or how to stop go keys the only way to stop go keys is stop to the, the, the firewall shit but if firewall is still there then you don't really accomplish anything so once again the the whole thing is hitting firewall um they hit that then we get back to regular Yu-Gi-Oh, um with some links which i feel like is good i feel like that would be better but once again is it less exciting yes but i mean it gives everybody the chance to play um what else uh people some people said summer sorceress um i don't i don't know why you even think summer sorceress is gonna get hit like um and then yeah um some i've seen people comment that the bone tower should get hit like so absorbing bone tower as uh, a zombie one that mills too because they have like a My mayakashi deck like an ocg that's doing work supposedly um i i why like stop like this this let zombies have their fun man we finally got our you know shit back together you know we, we we we're cleaned up we're going back to college man we're gonna get our degree we're gonna get that degree um but you know just let us have our fun man let us let us get back let's get assimilated to the culture man everybody else gets to do it but as soon as zombies start doing something everybody wants something banned but yeah that's um i think that's about it i think i've touched on everything um trickster sky oh yeah sky strikers do not need to be hit at all I, I mean if you guys disagree with me let me know why but i, I feel like sky strikers are very fun um not very fun but i think they're good for the game it that brings you back to the you you can live past turn you know live past turn two you know and that's isn't that what you guys want to play as a lot of people are clamoring about oh it's too fast the game is too much you're doing too much well sky strikers are a deck that doesn't do too much but it does enough to you know it's, it's a control deck technically um you can just build up advantage build up advantage build up advantage and then finally game shot you know and that's i think what Yu-Gi-Oh is so engage shouldn't get hit um the word the, the token one possibly i can see the token one getting hit because it just gives you a token for free um if you control no monsters uh and most tokens like there's there's another card that does it but there's no card that gives you back like there's a photon card that just gives you a token but there's no photon card that would then give you uh basically you'd be able to special someone like kagari you just add it back and get another monster it's basically two monsters in one um so i think that's why a lot of people wanted to get hit so i can see that getting hit but engage no widow anchor no none of the other cards should get hit because they're just so fair well engage isn't that fair they're all not once which i i don't know about all the fairness but they're, they're uh, you know what no 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 they, they are fair what am i talking about uh, they, they don't do anything overly broken um now the widow anchor taking a monster is possibly really good but um like i said they don't do anything overly broken to where you can't counteract the sky striker deck you twin twister their cards you give them a monster you put a monster in their main monster that they can't activate they're they're, they're cool they're cool where they're at um widow anchor uh, not widow anchor but the the um the token generator guy card <clears throat> i can see that getting hit but besides that 
I don't know what else. That's really our meta was Gokis, um, Gokis, in 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 uh, Sky Strikers, right? That's it. Um, Pendulums. I don't think anything in there needs to get. No, but actually, probably Ragnarok. I don't know why I keep calling Rag Dark Worm. That card possibly should get hit. Um, but once again, that's just picking shit. Like that's like not not even like that's once again that deck is okay. It did win a couple of YCSs, but. I mean, okay, if Pendulums are still winning 2018, you just probably deserve to go ahead and lo lose to that. But yeah, man, that's it for today. How long was this? 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Five minutes under how long I thought I was going to be able to go. But yeah, man, you guys let me know. Would you? What do you guys think of the list? Uh, no. What do you guys think the list is going to be? What card do you think should get banned, shouldn't get banned? Um, or you guys want to respond to pretty much what I've said in this video? Let me know down in the comments below. We can get a discussion and then maybe um, probably after everybody comments or a couple days after the video, uh, we can gather everything. We can put we can put out a definite list, which, you know, we would like to see. Um, besides that, I mean, I think I've touched every basis. A trick stars reincarnation. I mean, I, I, you could terraforming is one other card that should be hit. What else is in the meta? Like I said, yes, yeah, Goki pendulums uh sky strikers and tricksters uh they're, they're all uh, go keys is the only one that's kind of unfair like the u-lock shit is a little out it's, it's crazy but like i said they ban firewall fixes all that but then again it kind of tells people not to play links because you can't really i don't know if you can still you probably can u-lock and cybers but besides that you're probably not getting anywhere um <clears throat> So yeah, uh, yeah. The more the more I think about it, the more I I, I think firewalls is not going to get touched. Um, they're going to just hit shit around it, and then finally, after everything is said and done, hit firewall. But I don't think firewall is going anywhere. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Let me for real end it this time because I'm just going to keep going. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did, you know, survive to the end. Um, once again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe already. And if you want to help the channel out, links are in the description, or you guys can click an ad. Either or is fine with me. Um, I possibly be sh should be coming out with a deck tomorrow or a video tomorrow. Yeah. So see you then.